Greetings, all. I am Rugger coming to you from the bunker. Hey, today let's do some gear review. This is the Ready America uh, one person emergency kit, and it is advertised as a three day emergency backpack. So, let's talk about uh, the good, the bad, and the other that uh, goes along with this backpack. Now, I would say uh, the reason I picked this up, um, I got it for a very good price point. I felt like, and additionally, I saw a couple of things in here that I want to repurpose uh, for more specialized kits, which brings me to my first observation with this particular kit. Uh, even though it is um, advertised as a three-day emergency backpack, it kind of feels a little bit like uh, this pack is a little bit all over the board and doesn't really know what it wants to be when it grows up. Uh, I would say that um, this should not be the only type of prep uh, that you have in your arsenal, even though it would be a good starting point um, and uh, some good to have around. But it truly would be an SHTF type of situation uh, where these things would come in handy. Uh, so that brings me to my first point. Um, I did like the, uh, the back backpack, uh, the red backpack. It does have... Uh, straps on it and one of the things I'm going to do with that is repurpose that with a a trauma kit that I am putting together uh, it's about the size I was looking for and um, you know that's another example of I'm going to put my trauma kit together by uh, getting the individual items as opposed to going out and, and getting a starter kit this is one of the good things uh, with this particular kit it does hit on a lot of areas even though I don't believe it really shines in any one area. Uh, it does hit a lot of areas and uh, could be easily supplemented with your personal preps. So uh, let's go down and through uh, what came in the kit. I would say that the uh, first thing is a 2400 calorie. Um, it is called a food bar. And uh, if you've ever had these, they actually, this is um, what they put on live boats. Uh, Coast Guard uses them. And uh, very good shelf life. A um, lot of calories packed into a small package here. Uh, they are a little um, short when it comes to any type of uh, taste or, or appetizing. Uh, they're pretty dry to, to eat. Uh, but basically, it's kind of like a sugar cookie biscuit. Uh, very, I call it hard, modern hardtack. So we do have uh, some calories here. We've got eight pouches of emergency water. I do like those because they do have a good shelf life. Obviously not a huge amount of water, and uh, I'm going to question whether uh, that will be sufficient water uh, to, to really excel on uh, for a full three days, but uh, it could supplement uh, your water situation. Now, the one thing I do like here is the emergency poncho, and if you've seen my earlier videos, you would uh, know that I am big on ponchos, a uh, very flexible tool. Uh, gives you a lot of options and how they can be used. And matter of fact, if I could only have uh, five things that I um, could carry into SHTF, a poncho and a knife definitely would be uh, a couple of things I would choose. Uh, the light stick here, uh, just uh, I think it's a 12 hour, it says 12 hour, usually 12 hour uh, light sticks are the military grade. Uh, this does look like a retail grade light stick, but we've got one of those. Now, it does say it came with gloves, nit uh, nit uh, nitrile gloves. And uh, that is one of the things that I do not believe came in my particular kit. But instead, I got a tissue pack. So, um, I'm going to say that maybe it fell down a little bit with the uh, the PPE, the personal protection equipment. Uh, we do have a mask here, dust mask. I don't see a rating on it. Uh, I'm going to assume, actually, I kind of know uh, that it is not an N95 or N99. Uh, however, it could uh, filter out, you know, maybe ash, uh, some smog and pollutants, whatnot. So along with that, we do have the survival blanket. Very handy. These things are handy. However, it's disposable and uh, not very rugged. Uh, we have... A um, emergency uh, communication device, actually a whistle here. I have not tested that out, uh, but we'll certainly see how that goes. Now, as far as the first aid kit, um, I think it's a little bit of a stretch to call this a first aid kit. 
uh, but we do have some nice little items here. Got um, antiseptic wipes, triple antibiotic uh, ointment package, ibuprofen, that's a biggie, butterfly bandage, uh, medium adhesive bandages, junior adhesive bandages, and first aid glue uh, guide. So uh, again, you know, hey, if you're looking to, uh, to have a starter kit that you're gonna subsidize with your, your own uh, preps, uh, I think this uh, certainly could be a possibility. Can you do this better uh, just by buying the individual items? Yes, I would say probably so, unless you get this at a price point uh, that probably is under what they normally retail for. Uh, but, uh, you know, nice little kit, uh, something that's small. Um, it's obviously mobile and, uh, you know, it's got a lot of good concepts, even though, again, I, I don't think uh, we've certainly not uh, perfected our approach in any one area so viewers subscribers tell me what i've done well here what i can do better what this kit does well what it can do better and this is i am rugger coming to you from the bunker and as always let's be careful out there